Okay, great. Thanks so much. It's good to be with you. And thanks for inviting me. And a special thank you to all of you who are joining us from home. Today, we're going to be talking about decor diaper pails, the most exciting topic of the day. Thank you. So here we go. Decor. Here's a fun fact for you. You're going to have your baby and babies produce somewhere between six and 9,000 of these guys. Six to 9,000, that's a ton of diapers. So with that, it takes about three years to potty train your child. That's a lot of diapers and it's quite repetitive. So our feeling is, hey, why not make it easy for you to do deal with? So let's, let's take a look and see how that works. So this is the Decor Plus size diaper pail. It can actually hold 60, that's six zero, newborn size diapers or just two or three or five or 15 or 20, but up to 60 newborn diapers. Let's put that on the floor and I'll show you how easy that is to do. So here I go. I'm gonna do this first one fast and then I'll go through it and explain how it works. Boom, done. How about that for fast? Okay, let's go through it a little bit quicker. Come on up a little bit closer. Diaper, and in real life, you're gonna have your baby right here. So baby, soil diaper, I approach the pail, step on that foot pedal, and I just let her rip. And it goes right through this spring-loaded trap door and into the pail. Easy as anything. Other pails would have you approach the pail, bend over, mess around with the lid in some way, twist something, unlock something, slide something, mucking around. Look, nobody wants to bend over. Nobody wants to do that. Don't care if you had a C-section or not. You don't need to bend over six to 9,000 times. Okay, gonna put this back up on the table and show you that eventually you're going to have to empty your pail. Let me show you how that happens. And while we're doing that, why do you need a diaper pail in the first place? You probably already have a trash can. Diapers stink. Let's just face it, it's poo and it's pee, a lot of bacteria, diapers stink. So that's what we're talking about. Garbage cans don't control the odor, that's the job of a diaper pail. Okay, let's come on over here. I'll show you how you access the diapers. Push down on that little spring-loaded latch and the access door goes all the way open. Here's those couple of diapers that I actually disposed of. Could be five or 10 or 15 or 20 or up to 60. But either way, you gather it up like this, kind of cinch it down together because I don't want to use more than I have to use of this refill. I'm going to use only what I need to use. And what I'm going to do is show you this little thing right here on the inside of the access door. It's a very, very sharp cutter, but it's covered by plastic so you can't hurt yourself. So what I'm going to do is run that right through that cutter, boom. There's your trash. Look at that, nice and compact. I'll set that back here, because with this, advance it just a little bit, tie your knot, and that's the start of your next bag. So notice, no pre-perforation, no preset sizes, no, nothing that way. The cutter is what shows you how big your bag is going to be. A very cool idea. So I'm gonna shut that door, and I'm gonna show you how we keep the odor inside the pail. Underneath this lid is a silicone seal. So when the whisper lid shuts, it seals the bad air inside the pail. The trap door has another seal underneath here. So those two silicone seals are kind of the defense. They keep the bad odor inside the pail. The third way, let me just grab this liner that we used. The third way is actually the liner itself. Let me flip this inside out, give it a little whiff, and I'm gonna say, wow, that smells really good. It's actually a baby powder uh, scent that is infused into this uh, liner from the factory. No little dispenser or anything like that, it's just already in there ready, ready to go. So this is just a really long tube of plastic. I cut off what I need and that's it. So that's a really great way to go. Okay, let's talk a little bit about cleaning because you're going to have to clean this pail again we're talking about poo and pee our pail we've chosen to use abs plastic a million different kinds of plastic out there low end high end this is a really high grade plastic 
Why we chose to use it is because on the molecular level, this is a closed cell plastic. Odor cannot come inside of it. It cannot be absorbed by this kind of plastic. So cannot absorb odor, first great attribute. Second, it can't fade, can't scratch, can't dent, and it can't rust. So that's a great reason to use ABS plastic. It costs us more money, but it's worth it because we want you to be happy with it for years and years. Another thing about ABS plastic, you can clean it with household cleaners. Soap and water, no problem. How about this? You can sanitize it as well. You can use bleach, you know, with some Clorox wipes or just a mixture of bleach and uh, soapy water, no problem. Won't hurt the structure or color of this pail. Really cool idea. Okay, grand finale. Ready for this? After that six to 9,000 diapers in three years, there's life after diapers. Check this out. This insert right here can pop right out. Now you've got yourself a really nice trash can for years and years. One last thing I'll, th I'll leave with you is the price. Amazingly enough, premium pails like we are range about $100, so about $90 to $120, so I'm gonna call it an average of $100. What is our price? $39.95, correct. Twice the pail for half the price. You gotta get on one of these. Okay, I know we don't have any more time, but I wanna thank you for being here. Back to you, thanks so much.